What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm Salty Sluggy. Thanks for tuning in today. Today's game is Quantum Error. Quantum Error is a cosmic horror FPS in development by Team Kill Media. In September of 2021, the developers of Quantum Error announced that it would be using the latest Unreal Engine. So the game is currently being developed on Unreal Engine 5. Quantum Error was originally set to be an exclusive on PlayStation. That is not the case anymore. It will be available on PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S at some point this year. In Quantum Error, you'll take on the role of Captain Jacob Thomas, a firefighter from the Garboa Fire Department in San Francisco. After a research facility 30 miles off the shore of California is attacked by an unknown entity engulfing the complex in flames and putting it into a full containment lockdown, the facility sends out a distress call for mutual aid. Your fire chief Sturgis answers the call and sends you and your partner Shane Costa and a crew by helicopter to the facility. Your mission is simple, save as many lives from the burning complex as possible and get out. However, what starts as a rescue mission quickly plummets into darkness when you arrive and find that things are just not as they appear. The game combines both third person and first person perspectives, allowing for some immersive and spooky moments while walking around the narrow corridors of the game's Monad Quantum Research Facility. And according to the game's director and level designer Noah Jones, the feature is indicative of and catering to the game's genre shifting fluidity. When the campaign has Thomas vulnerable and trapped by his surroundings, for example, first person is probably the best way to experience that horror in all its immersive power. But when the action suddenly becomes thick and fast, as it does during the encounter on Jupiter, third person might offer more tactical advantages for the player. After about six months of development, they decided to add third person, and they say that playing the game in first person feels scarier because everything is right in your face, but you are more agile and faster if you play in third person. It becomes a totally different experience because then the fear comes with your slower response and movement. We had a lot of fans comparing their game to Doom 3 and Dead Space, and we felt we could give everyone a similar feel to their favorite games by adding this option. It added a few months of development to them, but they're really excited to offer options to their fans and choose how they experience Quantum Error. Regardless of how you're playing Quantum Error, you'll need to think strategically. The horrors awaiting Thomas both within the research facility and beyond are faster, tougher, and meaner than he is, meaning that spraying and praying just ain't gonna cut it. In fact, coming from Team Kill, they say it just isn't an option. You have to think and play smart. Each weapon will have specific situations and where you want to use it. And ammo will be an issue. We have an ultimate weapon, but there isn't much ammo to be found for it. It is costly to use and must be well thought out and used in only specific circumstances. Then on top of the strategically using weapons, you'll have the threat of fire, smoke and backdrafts that you must fight as well as saving NPCs. All the while, the threat of something unknown and cosmic is lurking in the shadows and that's it guys that's all i know about quantum error check it out coming sometime this year it's doom meets dead space that's had a baby with alien isolation kind of horror vibe going on it's dark it's grim i like the look of it thanks for watching as always support this video with a like it really helps out me and helps out the channel and i wouldn't ask you otherwise subscribe for more upcoming games you'll find social links down below if you want to support in that space hit that notification bell and as always have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time